Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Ghost in Depth. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about paper containers, or more specifically, shipping containers, because I found that most of them offer you about as much protection as construction paper. I found this out the other night. I was playing with J-Hub, and some fans of mine joined in, and they kind of wanted to try and pub stomp me, and they did, and I got killed through this container. I thought I was safe hiding behind it, but apparently you can shoot straight through it with very minimal damage reduction, and it's, it's just ridiculous how this works. So what I've done is I've gone around and I've looked on the maps and I've determined that any uh, storage container, not a shipping container, but any actual storage container can be shot through and it offers almost no damage reduction, like shooting through plywood or the thinnest of sheet metal or glass. However, the objects in the shipping container can block you. So for this one, it has the uh, beer canisters in it, the, uh, what are the kegs? However, I can shoot straight through the top part to catch people that run through to the other side. It just easy peasy no problem somebody on the other side could watch for footsteps pop up and shoot me without ever being detected and there's pretty much no damage loss this was another one I found on freight you can shoot directly through the wall here now I cannot shoot through the kegs but in the part where the kegs aren't there it's very easy to pop people how useful is this I don't know it depends on how competitively you play I imagine we'll be seeing this in MLG a little bit but you can check corners and shoot through any sort of shipping container just so long as you don't hit the junk inside and I also found that you can shoot straight through this building uh, on the side here to check for campers if you're playing search and destroy and for whatever reason the uh, train wheels must be made out of butter of some kind because they just melt the just the instant I hit them with an AK none of these weapons have FMJ of any kind here's another ship uh, storage container I keep wanting to say shipping but they are storage containers this one was on octane you can also shoot through the buses on octane they offer very little protection at all uh, Unfortunately, this is only useful on the ground. I thought that I could get on top of a pawn and look down, but you don't really get a good advantage until you drop down on the balcony and then jump on top of the actual shipping container or the they're like uh, generators, and then you can shoot through the bus with no problem. Is this useful to you? Again, that depends on how competitively you play and if you know where your enemies are, but I thought it would be informative and very useful to some players on like Freight Search and Destroy, maybe Blitz or something like that. I hope you enjoyed the short in-depth. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. The previous episode is called What is OP? I talk about OP weapons. The next episode is going to be a little bit different again. We're going to be talking about target prioritization. Very important topic that you'll learn a lot from. And that's it for this one. Drifter out.